In this video, we'll learn about color models and color palettes in Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paint with a special focus on the updated Pantone color palettes. Integrated access to Pantone color libraries enables you to expand the range of colors you use with confidence that your colors are spot on and consistently accurate for any output. Corel Draw Graphics Suite 2023 users and Corel Draw Graphics Suite subscribers have free access to over 220 new Pantone colors. Unlike other graphic design products that may require you to purchase an additional subscription to access Pantone palettes. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page. Here you can download a written version of this tutorial to follow along. A color palette is a set of colors which can be used for fills and outlines, intended for use for a certain type of output. There are three primary color groups or models. CMYK colors, or cyan, magenta, yellow, black, are used for offset or digital printing. RGB colors, or red, green, blue, are typically used for web graphics, sublimation, and laser engraving. Spot colors, which include Pantone and Roland and others, are used for screen printing, vinyl cutting, and several other printing methods. Some colors cannot be printed in CMYK, so a spot color is used to acquire an exact color match. Each color model uses specific values or names. In this example, the same blue fill color is represented differently in each color model. When each color is selected, the model and its values can be seen on the right side of the status bar below the workspace. The CMYK color is defined by levels of each CMYK color. The RGB color is similarly defined by levels of each RGB color, and the spot color has a Pantone name. Now let's look at how to find and use palettes. The default palette is displayed vertically along the right by default, and more palettes can be found in the Palettes Docker. To open this Docker, choose Window, Dockers, Palettes. Here you can find a variety of stock palettes, including Pantone and Pantone Plus palettes, which are found under Process and Spot. Choosing a palette adds it along the right. Any palette can be moved out of its default position by clicking the gray dots at the top and dragging to a new spot. Like with toolbars, palettes can be docked along the top, bottom, or left, or you can drop it in the workspace and size and place as needed. Hovering over a swatch displays its value or name based on its color model. Each palette has a small black arrow at the top or at the left. Clicking this arrow opens palette options, including Set as Default, which will use the palette colors in the various menus related to choosing colors. You can also choose to show color names on swatches and adjust the number of displayed rows for all horizontal or vertical palettes. The Customize option provides further options, such as large swatches and wide borders, and what the right mouse button should do. The first palette listed in the Palettes Docker is the Document Palette. This palette can also be turned on by choosing Window, Color Palettes, Document Palette. Displayed by default horizontally, just above the status bar, though you could move it if you want, this palette includes all colors used throughout all pages of the document. Each time you apply a color, the color is automatically added to this palette and remains there even if you later change an object's color or remove all objects with that color from the document. To update the document palette so that only currently used colors appear, click the palette's arrow and choose Palette Refresh. To disable automatic updates for the document palette, click the palette's arrow, choose Customize, uncheck the Auto Update option, and click OK. Now, any new colors will have to be added manually to the document palette. For these new objects on page 2, while the Pick tool is active, colors can be dragged into the palette one by one, or you can drag a group or multiple selected objects to add all colors at once. Note that the document palette is saved with the document, and will appear even if you open the document on a different computer. To create a custom color palette, open the Window Color Palettes menu, or click the plus icon at the bottom of the palette's docker. There are three options. 
new empty color palette creates a palette from scratch to which you can add your own colors. New palette from selected objects creates a palette containing the colors of the currently selected objects or groups. And new palette from the document creates a palette containing all currently used colors in the document. This may be different than the document palette, which may contain previously used colors that are no longer included in the document. Custom palettes are placed by default in the Palettes folder. Assign a name and save, and now the new palette will appear in the Palettes Docker under My Palettes. Right-clicking a custom palette brings up options to add a new palette folder or new blank palette, open or edit the palette, cut, copy, paste, and delete. Editing the palette opens the palette editor where you can change, add, or delete colors, and choose how the list is sorted. Now that we know our way around color palettes, let's learn a few ways to apply colors. With one or more objects selected, left-clicking a swatch sets the object fill color, and right-clicking sets the outline color. To remove either the fill or outline color, left or right-click the No Color swatch. You can also drag a swatch into a fill or onto an outline. To copy colors, Keep the right mouse button pressed as you drag from an object to its target. When you release the mouse button, the pop-up that appears has options to copy just fill, just outline, or both. Another way to copy colors is with the Color Eyedropper tool. Click anywhere to pick up the color you want, and click to apply that color to a fill or outline. Press Shift while clicking to pick up a different color to apply. While an object is selected, Double-click the Fill swatch in the status bar to adjust fill properties. Among other options, all palettes can be accessed in the Edit Fill window. Similarly, double-clicking the Outline swatch opens the Outline Pen window, where, among the various options, you can change outline color and choose from different palettes. To change the tint of a document color, select the object and click and hold the color swatch in the document palette to see variations of that color then click to set the new color. To repeat the application of a fill color on multiple selected objects, use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl-R for the repeat operation. And finally, with an object selected, holding the Ctrl key and left-clicking a color swatch will add 10% of that color to the fill each time you click. Holding Ctrl while right-clicking will do the same for the outline color. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on color palettes, color models, and applying colors in Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paint. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page. Here you can find a written version of this tutorial and find other helpful tutorials for Corel Draw.